So maybe just a Shavasana. Let's start on our back. Just stretch and roll your shoulders back. Take a nice deep breath inside, eyes closed. What would your personal mantra be? I am strong, healthy. My immune system is fortified. Yeah. Lift yourself with words. Take three nice breaths here. And next inhale, just bring your knees into your chest. Take a nice big hug. Rock from side to side. Start waking up your back. A massage here. Can you see me okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If there's any problem, I can just move the iPad around. I want to make sure you can see me. Some classes I've watched. And take your hands behind your thighs. You, the teacher sometimes will go out. So I want to make sure I get the right feet, the right camera. And then just come back on your back. Open up your arms and have your legs in the 90 degree. Place your hands down to support yourself and just letting your legs go from side to side. Little core, little twist, ease into it, and then you can make them a little more intense. And then just let them go all the way over onto one side. Maybe take your hand, press on top if you're on the right side, whichever side you are. Just get a nice twist, pressing the shoulders on the mat. Take the breath in. Start paying attention to your navel, your core. One more breath here. Inhale, bring them up, open your arms up, maybe a little wiggle. And then bring the other side, same thing. Press the shoulders blades down, open up the chest. You want to press the top thigh down to get a nicer twist. Head perhaps is the opposite way. And then come back up, bring the feet and the fingers up to the ceiling. Just shake it out, a little blood flow action here. And then open up your arms to really straighten up your legs. Bring a lot of active muscle into your legs. A lot of core pressing down on the mat and slowly lower your legs up. You might want to move your hands closer to your side, palms up or down, yogi's choice, slowly. And then just barely tap the floor and bring them back up. And then one more time, slowly. Heels maybe tap the floor and then come back all the way up. And just hands behind your thighs and lift up, bringing legs close. And lowering your body, lower the left leg down, keep the right leg up, bring your torso up again, just getting these muscles stretched, waking them up, release your back down onto the mat and lower that right leg all the way out, whatever feels good. If you don't have a strap, just let your hand either hold it from the bottom or press it down from the top, just wherever you are. Next inhale, bring that leg up. Make the glutes and the leg really active. Press the sacrum into the mat. Good. And then slowly opening your arms out. Let that leg go over to the side. So don't roll your hip all the way up. Really feel the stretch. Try to keep the shoulders on the mat. Don't just roll the hip all the way up. Find how that feels stretching partially and just explore that. Active, keep glutes active. Nice big breath. Next inhale, bring that leg back up. 
Really, really active. Fire up those muscles. Hands behind the thigh. Bring it forward. Lowering the torso down. Slowly release that leg down with control. Kind of like a ballerina's leg. That all the muscles just make point the toes. Feel the glutes all the way to the core. Just work it. Inhale, left leg all the way up. Press the back into the mat. And then just let... Uh, uh, bring your torso up here, yes. And then lower all the way to the left side. Slowly with control. With the energetic quality of the muscles in the body, the core, the IT band. Inhale, bring that leg up slowly. Press the sacrum into the mat and then let that leg fall over to the side. Again, exploring various degrees so your hips don't just go all the way over. Hang out where you feel like you're getting the best stretch. Nice big breath here. Inhale, bring that leg back up. Lift the torso up. Lower down, lower that leg all the way down. Reach up with the arms, flex and point the toes. Really open up the ribs, maybe wiggle on the mat. Nice inhale, bring knees into the chest, squeeze, rock from side to side. And just rock and roll a few times here. Maybe go back into plow. Jennifer had us doing this rock and roll without using your hands and then come up into boat. So I like that. And then just do some more rock and roll and come into boat and hold it. Holding your boat, lifting your chest and lower the toes, just barely tapping the heels down and lift up, holding it with this core work done. The beginning, lower down, let those heels touch and come up. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> and lower down one more time. And come up, cross the right leg over the left. Maybe bring the knees in, give them a nice big squeeze, feel the Power in the upper body, feel the chest really open up, shoulders widen here. Inhale, bring those legs back up, strong. This time left, over right, same thing, squeeze in. Last time, bring it up and lower all the way down on your count. Let's just go ahead and roll over on our bellies. Come in, Sphinx. Bring that core in. In, Sphinx. Elbows, shoulders, fingers wide apart. Calves straight up, heels up. Make sure that navel's pressed in to protect your lower back and lift up. Glances out. Just hold here, bring the oxygen in, warming the back up. Next breath, if you want to walk your hands out for seal, come into a little more of a back bend. Lower the shoulders, lift the chest, make sure the core is active. And then lower down for locust, hands to the side. Inhale, come up with just your chest and your arms. Really fire up that core, protecting your back, lower down. Inhale, come up full locust. Lift the feet, lift the arms, chest, core. Lower down. Let's bend the knees, maybe grab the feet. You can 
Optional is to do another locust, but let's try a bow if that feels good. Inhale, bring it up. You may want to rock a little bit. And lower down. Crocodile your hands, windshield wiper your feet. Ah. Waking that back up. Lower the feet all the way down, hands by your chest in a cobra pose. Let's press up into cobra. You can do higher, higher low. Yogi's choice. Elbows inside and to your side. And then press back into tabletop. <laughs> so do a little wiggle in tabletop. Finally got warm. I've been cold all morning. Wiggle in tabletop, top C curves. You want to roll your hips around. Finding your cats and cows. Maybe in your cow, you tuck your toes in, but keep the core. Just explore this slow, with breath. And press back from cat into child's pose. Take one nice big breath here, and we're going to do some cobra cat child's flows. Inhale, chest goes low into cobra. Press yourself up. Exhale, through cat down into child's. Um. Inhale, up in cobra. Modify as you need. You can break the breaths down, taking a breath cycle at each stage, yogi's choice. Couple more. We'll end up in child's pose, just to hang out after this last one. Open the knees wide, just melt. Maybe wiggle around giving some relief to your lower back. And then inhale, bring your knees together, tuck your toes under, make sure that the baby toes in the game here, little toe stretch action, open the chest, shoulders down, maybe inhale, bring the hands up, pressing the shoulders down, it's a nice distraction. It's also good for opening the whole body. Sink into the toes, shoulders pressing down, arms, hands reaching up, toes sinking into the earth. Two more breaths. You can come into prayer if you like. Just lift the chest up and sink in. Next exhale, gently press your hands down, tap the feet out. And press up, we're gonna do a couple of rounds of camels. So first time, kind of easy. Our back should be sort of warm though. Yoga pockets, pressing hips and thighs forward. The shoulders roll forward, chest lifts up. Release back. If your neck is bothering you, you might think about extending your neck. A lot going on. The goal in yoga is, I think, not to have a, a big goal, just to be present with where your body is. A couple more breaths here. And come up slowly with core. This time you want to go a little deeper or do the same thing or not so deep, just you know, <laughs> choice. I'm going to come on my toes, press back on my heels, press my hips forward and lower. up when you're ready. Slowly, gently, keep that core in, coming down, moving into child's pose one more time. To release your back, counter pose, wiggle on the mat. Mm -hmm. 
Inhale, bring it back up into tabletop. <laughs> All right, the right foot back and press those toes. It should be kind of warm. Place the left arm out, arm leg balance. As you know the drill, place a weight, imaginary weight. So fire up those glutes, those thighs, that calf. Bring that let right leg up slowly. Really feel the energetic quality in the body. A lot of core here. The belly fired up. Lift, point and flex the toe if that feels good. Really stretch. You can bend and hold your foot. Lift up. Maybe look back, lift up some more. Nice big breath. Exhale, reach out. And let's do six crunches. One, with breath, two, three, Six, out, bring it to the side, hold it up, and tap five, or six, five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. And come up in the gateway. I like this one. Inhale, left arm over, opening the chest, tucking the hips, reaching. Exhale, wave over, side plank. Modify whatever you need. Opening up here, come into your side plank. Maybe for some balance, bring the leg up. And let's bring it to the front and do six dips. One, two, three, four, five, six, up. And then finding plank. Let's pull plank here for a minute. First plank. Let's do three push ups here. Two, three. And come back into tabletop. Nice breath. Left toe, left leg comes back. Same thing. Really? Feel the glutes, both sides, but the legs, the muscles really expanding. Pressing back with the toes, place that weight on there. Slowly lift it up, fire it up. Feeling your feet, maybe flex and point. Right hand comes out, stretch. Bring that core in, and then maybe hold the foot. Lifting up, balance. Release the foot. Stretch, six, crunch. Six. Hold it and bring it out to the side. Holding and six taps. Five. Come up in the gateway. Inhale, right hand over, stretch, reach. And windmill over to the right. Coming into side plank, finding your balance pose here. And bring that left leg over and six dips. Five. And roll back around. We're playing. Come into forearm plank. Press those feet back. Straight on the mat. And take five knee to elbow. Right side first. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side. And come back into tabletop. Just roll it out, maybe roll your hips around. Whatever feels good. Nice big inhale when you're ready, pressing back on your toes. Exhale, hips up, first down dog, walk it out. 
So inhale, maybe take your left hand and reach over for your right ankle. Press, pull yourself down. Hand back, right hand to left ankle. Nice little twist and pull. Come back into down dog. Walk it out to plank. Let's do five push-ups. Four. Three. Two. Press back into down dog. Let's lift that right leg up for a three-legged dog. So here, let's do some balance. Maybe take the left hand into chest. Holding here. Making it a two-legged dog. <laughs> Maybe switch hands and see where your balance is for fun. Hold <laughs> the right hand in. Bring it down. Bend and stack. Roll your ankles around. Open up here. Maybe reach with the hand and hold the foot. Ooh, that's a tough one. <laughs> Lift it up. Three. Bring the leg up and bring it down. It's so good to keep practicing our balance. It's good for the brain. It's good for health. The inhale, bring the left leg up. Stretch it. Three like a dog. Maybe bring the right hand into the chest. Then try the left hand for fun. That's hard. Right hand maybe goes for the foot. Three. <laughs> and bring it back up into three legged dog. And then bring it down, walk it out. Did you did you stack your hips there? In three legged dog, if you didn't, make sure and stack and roll. Open up. And then walk it out and downward facing dog. Again. And then just walk your hands back, holding your elbows. And just let go here. Oh. I used to have those Hebrew letter characters for Let It, let it Go, Betsy. In a necklace. Reminding us that we always need to keep our body, our energy. Release your hands, come up one vertebrae, vertebra at a time. We need to keep that flow, not holding anything in. Send it back out, like the breath, our energy, our bodies. Just take your arms, legs apart, and just sort of noodle. So good for the nervous system, finding a smile. And let's come into goddess. So after you have your nice wiggle, just Come into goddess here, finding this lovely pose. Open up the chest, go low. A lot of core, tuck your hips in, open the chest, come up. Low. Lift the heels, hold it. Really feel the muscles, the activation in the body come up. Balance challenge, maybe reach up. Open the chest, feel the body. Active, come down, heels still up. And let's just take left heel down, really press that right one up, right down, really left one up, both up, come up and down. Place them on the ground and let's just come up like in the sumo, right? Couple more rounds. Last one, right, left, yes. And reach up when you're ready, maybe wiggle your feet in just a little bit, press the shoulders down, reach up 
and open up into star. And if toes are pointed forward, we're gonna take the right hand to the left toes and just hold the ankle and twist here. Breathe, lowering the torso. And then come up, other side. Breathing into this, lowering torso as it feels good. Don't push anything here. And inhale, come up, let's do some toe touches. So bringing hands together, maybe clasping and coming into a point, shoulders down, tuck those hips in, inhaling, exhale, left toe. Bring it up big with the breath, exhale, right toe. With power in the arms. So five more sets. And when you're done, just wiggle those feet back in. Let's take the right hand to the left wrist. Really straighten up here and just come over in a half moon on the right. So your palms can be together. You can be holding your wrist. Lots of variations here, but open up that left side, straighten the body, reach. A lot of core too, inhale, bring it up, readjust. Shoulders press down, arms reach up, nice inhale. Exhale, other side to the left. And bring it up when you're ready. Release everything, shake it out. Jump around, smile, come to the top of the mat. Let's go ahead and let's do three full uh, sun A's with or without vinyasa. I'll talk you through the first one and how reach up and the second two you'll do on your own. Stretch, reach up from sky, exhale to earth. Ah. Inhale and half lift, finding the balance between the two shoulders back, exhale, plant your hands, take your vinyasa. Walk it out and down dog again. And when you're ready, pressing hands, inhale, looking up, exhale, bring it forward any way you want. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, maybe reverse swan dive. Next two on you. We'll meet at the top of the mat. And Tadasana. And to your side when you're ready. Eyes closed. Finding peace and balance. Feel the left foot begin to ground in more. Maybe with the soft eyes or closed eyes. Maybe try with the closed eyes. Bring your right foot in a kickstand. Eyes closed. Maybe see if you can bring it up a little bit. Eyes closed. And then whatever great balance challenges, whatever you need to do with your eyes to come into your full expression of Rikshasana tree. Having the glutes engaged always helps balance too. Holding here, 
Open your chest up. And then let's bring that bent leg 90 degrees forward. And bring the leg out, straight out. And tap five times in the front, lifting up active glutes, active legs. Four, five. Bring it in, hold it up, bring it to the right. Hold it, fire up the glutes, bring the leg out and tap. Five, four, three, two, with control. One, and bend, and then bring it back in warrior three. Really feel the muscles activated, tap the foot, five. Feel that glute just really work. Both of them, but especially the right one. And the core. And then just come into your warrior three. Really lean forward, reach, whatever works for you, holding your balance, enjoying that. And then let the foot come back into crescent lunge. Enjoy your back bend. It should be really warm, pressing the shoulders down, hips press forward. And let's dip here, five. Work those glutes, four, three, two, one. And open up in the warrior two. From here, let's release the back hand, flip the front, finding peaceful, reaching. Maybe the back hand comes around the waist and then release down through extended side angle, holding here. Go low, it feels good. Any extra work you wanna do? And come back into the shelf, inhale up, peaceful warrior. Come through, extended, reach, inhale, peaceful. Come through two more or three more. Five, two. And on the last one through extended, place the hand down, open up your arms. Reach and come back up into warrior two. Nice big breath and windmill into vinyasa. Four, chaturanga, cobra or up dog. If your wrists are bothering you like mine, you'll do more cobras. Walk it out. Let's inhale that right leg up and bend and stack. Wiggle the ankle. And flip if you like, slowly. Open up. Come back around when you want. Same way. Come up on your toes, wave those shoulders over your elbows, bring the knee to nose, hold it, hold it, inhale, back up. Knee cross body to the other elbow. Hold it, inhale up, knee to nose, wave those shoulders over the wrist, bring it in between the hand, back foot for warrior one. Let's hinge first, so inhale, reach, hinge, and then come all the way up, warrior one, yes. And release your hands. For humble warrior, open your chest and lower down. If it feels good, rinse the arms. See if you can bring the chest lower. Just breathe into this. Release the hands and clasp. Scoop back up. And exhale, plant your hands, take a vinyasa. Inhaling, looking at your hands on your exhale, come forward. 
Inhale, bring it on up, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. And come back up, meeting into Dasana. Eyes closed. When you get there, taking a couple of breaths, revisiting intention. Feeling the groundedness in the right foot this time. Eyes still closed, bring the left foot into kickstand. Awareness of where your body is, your balance. Open the chest, activate the body maybe. Try bringing the leg up a little more, every side's different. And then go ahead and bring your eyes in when you're ready and find your tree on this side, the right side. Right foot is grounded into mother. Holding here, open the chest, get the glutes in for balance. A lot of booty work. And then bring the leg forward, bend 90 degrees. Hold it here. And then straighten the leg out and five taps. Four, three, two, one. And back into 90 degrees and to the side. And out. <laughs> and five, four, three, two, one. Come back in and through warrior three. And holding. You can always tap if you want in warrior three. Okay. This side is a challenge for me. Holding your warrior, warrior three, we'll be eventually moving into crescent lunge. Just enjoy it if your balance is rocking, reach, lift the leg, really fire it up. And when you're ready, you'll lower down for crescent lunge. And dip, left one, four, three, two, one. And open up into warrior two. Coming into peaceful warrior. Holding here, open the chest. And then come through extended side angle. Any challenge you want here before we do a little flow in this. Inhale, come into peaceful. Through extended. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, extend. Peaceful. Through extend. Last one. Peaceful. Through extend. Reach, open the chest, bring the hand down, and do some rotation with the arm, opening shoulders and chest. Maybe three one way, three the other, or more, whatever you need. You can always bring in binds in these two. Inhale, come back up into warrior two. Really. Stabilizing yourself, holding this, reaching hands out. And then next inhale prepares to windmill hands, taking you to Nasa. Meet and down dog. Inhaling left leg up. Really stretch and reach. Bend and stack. And flip if you like. Every time, challenge yourself to see if you can open a little more. Maybe look over at the hand. Maybe get a little more syrupy. Come back around when you're ready. Keep your leg up. Come up on your toes. Knee to nose. Inhale, bring it up. Cross the elbow. Hold it. Bring it back up, 
And bring it to nose again, wave those shoulders over the wrists. Gently place it between your hands. Back foot for warrior one. Inhale, hinge, reach. Hold it, hold it. And scoop up, beautiful. Did we tap and press in on that thigh with the knee? I think we did. Release your hands behind you, open your shoulders. Come down into humble warrior. Lower. See if you can open your shoulders, rinse them more. And release your hands down, scoop all the way up back into warrior one. Go ahead and bring that toe in just for fun. Let's do five knee taps here on the side from crescent. Two, three, drawing up both glutes. Just felt like I need a little more on the side anyway. Nice inhale, exhale, plant your hands, take your vinyasa. Yeah. <laughs> Feet and down dog. Let's wave forward and plank. A little more challenge here before we wind down. Take your right hand to your chest. Left hand to chest. Right hand to chest. Left hand to chest. Right hand to chest. Left hand to chest. Left hand to chest. Left hand to chest. Let's try this. Take a push up. Now let's bring the right hand up. Left hand to chest. Right hand to chest. Left hand to chest. Right hand to chest. Left hand. Right hand, whoo, hard, lower the leg. Inhale, left leg up. Right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. Last one, left hand. A lot of balance. Toes down, plank, all the way down into cobra. Inhale, up. Exhale, tabletop. Work it out. Yeah. Inhale, toes tucked under. Let's go ahead and bring our hips back up. Inhale, look at your hands on your exhale. Come forward. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bring it on up. Sink into chair. We gotta do triangle before we go back down. Holding chair, coming into prayer. Inhale, revolve to the right side. Twisting here. If you want to open, side pro is always an option. Let's bring that, balance it again. Left foot up and try to find revolve crescent here as you move back. And go ahead and try to open up here. If balance needs, if it's easy, you can look up at your hand. And then just inhale and sweep those hands up, sinking into crescent. And then open back up into warrior two. Good. Straighten the leg. Before we move into triangle, let's just find some fluidity. And then the last time you reach forward, lowering into Trikonasana, your triangle. And taking both hands on either side of the foot in triangle, you have a block. Take the left hand, we're moving into revolve triangle, place it on the outside of the right foot, hands to hips. Find your balance, and then you can bring your right hand up, twisting here, breathing here, with or without the block. Reach up, grounding left hand, reaching up to the sky in the right, and then bring both hands on the outside of the foot again, spider fingers, slightly bend the right knee, bring that left leg up for half moon. Left hand can go to hip. Open up the hips and the chest. Maybe flex the feet. Maybe reach up high, open the chest. 
half moon. Hips go square to the mat. Standing split. Lift that up. Feel that glute working. You can take one or both hands. Find balance too. Maybe still holding your balance, slowly lowering that back leg down. For pyramid. Hands on hips. Inhale, come up. Chest. Exhale, bring it down. And just walk the hands around to the center, Padatanasana. Relaxing here, maybe take the right hand toward the left ankle and do a nice twist here, bringing the left hand up, lowering. Breathing. And then sweep those hands across, left to right ankle. Bring the hand up. And then bring those hands back down. Walk back around to the front where you were. Step back, take a vinyasa. One nice little breath in down dog. Then inhale to put your hands on your exhale, come forward. Inhaling half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Let's sweep it on up in the chair. Last chair. Sink low, go low. Tuck those hips in there, cheerleader butts. Jennifer's watching. <laughs> Maybe she'll watch it one way or another. Hands in prayer, inhaling. Exhale, twist to the left. Ooh, my back cracked. You wanna open up here, whatever. Come back in. Let's go back into the revolve because we wanna revolve the crescent. So this time the right foot comes up and slowly, as you can, my left side's weak. Or no judgment. Revolve crescent. You can open up here, have fun. And bring the hands back up. Pull crescent. Let's just do some taps for fun here. One, two, three, four. Fire those glutes five and open up. Warrior two. Straighten the front leg. Find that nice slow before you come into triangle. And when you're ready, just reaching forward slowly with intention, with core. Hips are tucked in, body is straight, aligned. Open up your chest, reach up. Enjoy this, feel the stretch all the way up and down the right side as you sink into this. Keep body scanning. You never check anything off once. Every time you adjust something else, you have to come back and fix it. Then bringing hands on either side. If you have a block, adjust your feet. Revolve, triangle. Right hand on the outside of the left foot. Inhale, bring the left hand up. Then bring the hand down, spider your fingers, maybe slightly bend as you inhale, left leg, right leg comes up, excuse me, right hand comes to hips, helping to remind you to turn those hips out, maybe flex the foot, open the arm up now, really feel the body reaching for the sky as the left foot is grounded into Mother Earth, any balance challenges, you can always try to come off the mat in these poses. As we work on balance, you'll find we get better and better. So we challenge it a little more. Bring the hips square to the mat, coming into standing split. Another balance challenge. Hands to ankles, lift the leg up, and then move into releasing your foot back into crescent here. All the way down, excuse me, the crescent root pyramid. You're on your toes, just put the back heel down. Pyramid. So hands on hips. Inhale, bring it up. 
If you want to place your hands behind you and reverse prayer, fingers up or down, open the chest, then come back down. Here. I'm feeling a little stiff on this side. Let's go ahead and release the hands, maybe revolve the pyramid. And bring your hands all the way down. Let's walk back to the front. And just hang here for a moment. And then move into Sandasanas. We'll come back up with hands on hips, inhaling. Hang out with a flat back for a minute. Press the shoulders back. Make sure the core is still working. Fire up the glutes. Bring it all the way up. And adjust the feet any way you need. Arms up. We'll move into Malasana Squat. Exhale. Winding down. Finding your Malasana Squat. So after a few breaths, you know, crow, crow is always an option. Whatever you need to do for balance. If your wrist is bothering you, you probably want to hang out in the last and I've been doing last balance poses trying to heal my hand. It's getting better. You just have to listen to your body and when it needs healing, give it to it because you don't want to prolong the pain, right? And then just let's come back into tabletop where we were earlier. Any movement you want to do, just finding neutrality. Inhale, left hand up, stretch. We're going to thread the needle. So exhale, bring it through, reaching with the right hand. Left hand comes through. You can make this active as you want. You can bring that right leg up, really getting a nice grip with the shoulders and the back of the left hand, pressing the nails against the floor. You can bring your arm up. You can reach for your foot. Yogi's choice. You can even bring that left foot up too, whatever you want to do, or simply just Relax in a semi-yin threaded needle. One more nice full breath cycle. Next inhale, drag that hand across. Right hand comes down, reach up, stretch. Should feel good. Exhale to the mat. Find your neutral, whatever wiggling you need to do. Next inhale, right hand up, reach. Exhale, thread it through. So whatever you did on the other side, try. It's always going to be different on each side, but just go for it. So you can explore where that side of your body is. Keep finding balance. We're all a work in progress. One more breath here. Slowly letting that left hand drag down as the right one sweeps underneath. And again, same kind of motion. Reach up, stretch, inhale, reach, exhale, come down. Good. Just work it out a little bit again. And let's come down into seated position here. Sukhasana. When you're down, let's scoop the arms up and reach and press down, Shh. scoop up. Really feel the power in the arms and reach down. Shh. Five times. Shh. And reach on that top one, exhale to the left. So really trying to get the breath in your body, the immune system, that's the supercharger for our immune system. So we really fire up that breath. We clear out the toxins. We supercharge the immune system. Straighten on the inhale, twist on the exhale, and come back around. Let's go ahead and reach forward and just give a nice little stretch here into Sukhasana, wiggling on down. Sweep over to the left and lower. Sweep to the center. Sweep to the right. 
come back to center. And just inhale, letting your hands drag to your knees. Let's go ahead and bring them out again. Inhale all the way up. A lot of breath. Exhale, twist to the other side. Right side, if you did that. And straighten me on inhale. Twist to one exhale. Always good to roll your eyes if you feel like it. We just don't get enough exercise for the eye muscles. And come back around. Let's go ahead and just come forward again. Just wiggle it out. Bring our hands to our knees. And just a little spinal flex. We've done a lot of work. This might help ease the lower back. Moving into a supra grind. Really make it big. Have fun with this. We're warm. And maybe you get a bigger one, a better one at this point. Ending out in this reverse. And you're ready. Just hanging out where you feel. Just little areas that need a little more love. Coming back up, let's open the legs up wide. This time, give a nice straddle. Bring the hands up and stretch. Come through prayer and reach out here. Flex the toes. Just hang out here for a few breaths, getting this area warmed up. Maybe flex the end point, depending on where your muscles are. Give it a little more challenge. And the next breath, we're going to sweep the hands over to the left side. Maybe touch your ankles, your shins, your feet. Lowering torso down. Keep the core. Protect your back. Three breaths here. Then walking to the center. Lower here. Maybe you reach out. Touch your toes. And then gently, when you're ready, sliding over to the right side, same thing. Torso down. Keep those hips on the mat. Those butt bones. <laughs> and come through. Center, lowering. You want to reach for your toes and try to come up with core, with control. Inhale, straighten up. Feel those hips turn, tucked in. Feel yourself really grounded. Press the shoulders down. And let's bring the feet together for just a little body kanasana. Cobbler, lowering the knees, opening the chest, shoulders down. Hinge forward. Just feel yourself release. Open up here. Inhale, come back up, feet together. And just give a little and let's roll back over onto our knees. And just from here, in the interest of time, let's take a pigeon. You can do it on your back, or you can do it um, here on the mat, just taking the left left leg forward or right leg. Let's do right leg first. And find whatever you want to stuff underneath your hip for pigeons. So you can stay up if you want more work. Or you can do some cascades and then go down or cascades and stay up. So exhale, inhale, chin to chest, bring it all the way up. Exhale, come down. Do that three times. And then, like I said, you can stay up or you can go down and do more yin. Yogi's choice. Take three nice long breaths in pigeon. And when you're ready, if you were down, coming back up, reaching out with the left arm. Inhale, follow the fingers. Good focus for eyes and memory, mind. Bring the foot up if you like, wherever you are. See if you can balance, reaching out with the right. Are you really reaching? And then come back up to meet your shoulder, your head, wave, whatever. And then coming out of this gracefully, maybe following the left hand back over. And coming back into tabletop, work it out. 
And when you're ready, bring that left leg up. Left side this time. Or pigeon. Same thing this side. Wherever you want to be, just try some cascading before you either lower or stay up. Just finding yourself in pigeon, enjoying this melting time, hip opener. Great breaths, long breaths here. Gently coming up out of this. Same thing if you want to follow your hand around. See if you can hold your foot. Coming back around with the other hand, finding your version. Whenever you're ready, you will just lower down. Wave your hands around and back in the tabletop. And then let's just go ahead and get on our backs for, well, hug your knees in and rock from side to side. And let's do a happy baby. If there's anything else you need, we did a lot of core work. If you want to maybe do legs up the, the wall where you are or come back into plow from shoulder stand and shoulder stand, take an inversion a few minutes, and then we'll go into Shavasana or just happy baby and Shavasana, but a little, little bit of inversion. Happy baby will be the last thing. Just coming back to gratitude for your practice, for your body, for your health. Release all the way down, stretching, nice big breath. Tense everything up, just make big fists, point your toes, flex, whatever you want to do, and then ha, ah, just melt maybe the toes fist and, and then flop out. Eyes closed. One big full breath and then let your breath just naturally flow for a few, a minute, several seconds here in a, in a brief shavasana. Bring the breath back in deeper. Feel the tingling. Return to your body, flexing, pointing, fingers, toes, whatever movement you want. And then bring your knees into your chest. Nice big hug. Apanasana, rock from side to side to fetal position. And then press and bring yourself back up when you're ready, meeting me in Sukhasana. Chest open, shoulders out, back, feeling the gratitude, pressing the hands together, committing to peace, compassion, starting with our bodies. Inhale, bring hands up in prayer, reaching up, hands to forehead in peace, Om Shanti. Let's all just say Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Peace to all, hands to heart center, compassion to all. Namaste. Namaste.